I hope everyone's been enjoying the course so far. We've covered lots of subjects, including how a computer works, how computers represent images on screens, how sound is created, some binary to decimal conversion. Um, we've talked about methods, which um, give us the ability to, uh, to, to increase the reuse of our code and to keep our code small and compact. The next thing we need to talk about with Java is the idea of objects and creating classes. So what we're going to do today is let's build a simple class. So I'm going to create a new project here, call it a Java application, and I'm going to create the car class. So when you're, when you're building an object, the idea is that you are trying to uh, create something from the physical world, the world that we can all see and touch, and uh, you're going to represent it inside of a computer. So this car that we're going to create, it's not going to drive around and do different things, but um, it's just going to be a simple way to represent uh, a car. So for example, if people asked me, what kind of car do you drive? I might tell them that I drive, uh, you know, a 2014 uh, Porsche 911. That wouldn't be a true statement, but I might say that. <laughs> so um, the idea here is, how do most people represent a car? Well, I think we, we represent a car with things like make, model, year, color, that type of stuff. So let's, let's create a car here. Okay, so this, this class will uh, create a car uh, with the attributes make, model, and year. Okay, now let's make this a little bit bigger. There we go. So in this case, let's just start with looking at this. So we have a public class, right? So these are the key words here. Uh, we're creating a class. The name of the, cl the class is called car, okay? And we said we're going to have the attributes of make, model, and year. So to do that, I'm going to create some private, uh, private variables here. And these are going to be global to the class, um, but they're marked private. So the only way we can modify them is with methods within our own class. So I'm going to say private, the data type is string, make, model. And then I'm going to say private integer to represent the year. Okay, so now we have some private variables. to Store the attributes of a car. So the next thing we need to look at here is um, how do we create a new car? So if I say you know, uh, new car, and what's going to happen? Well, because we want to create cars that have a make, a model, and a year, we're going to use a constructor that accepts those three things in. So, um, this So I'm going to say it's a public, publicly accessible method, and <clears throat> it doesn't return anything. So we're going to say public void car, and this is very important. The name of the constructor has to be the exact same as the name of the class, because we're creating a new car, right? So we're going to put in string make. Uh, so I'll say manufacturer, keep it easier to understand. Manufacturer. String. So instead of model, uh, I'll say uh, car type. And for the integer of the year, we're going to say ec created, created on. That's the end of our constructor. Okay, so then here I can say the make, right? So this is our global variable or our attributes. The make is going to be equal to our manufacturer. And the model is going to be equal to the car type. And, and the year it was created is equal to the created on variable. And here we can even say a param 
manufacturer the make okay so what that does for us is actually when we go to use um, we go to use this constructor in other areas we actually will see this information come up when we click on uh, our constructor so before we go very far let's go into uh, here and let's do a new Java class and let's call this uh, car testing class okay so here we are we have another it's another class inside the same package and this is the first time where we're really starting to see how this package can help us. So you see how these are they're bundled together. So uh, this this class will create two car objects. So let's go down here and we'll create a main method. Public static. So now we we have the ability to create a new car. So I'm going to say the data type is a car. And I'm just going to call it, for lack of a better term, car1 equals new car. And we're going to call, uh, let's see here, so something nice and safe. A Volvo um, S60 is a nice looking car. And we'll make it brand new. And then we can say car2 car equals new car. Mm, let's see, something a little little faster so maybe a Nissan GTR 2012 and what it said here is a little error coming up and if we read that it says the constructor in car in class car cannot be given to the type so it thinks we're requiring no arguments, but what it found was string string integer. So let's go take a look at our constructor and see what could be going wrong here. There it was. So I just had uh, I had a return type in my constructor, so that was my mis my mistake. So if I look at this, um, we will create a car called car one, another one called car two. One of them is going to be a Volvo S60, the other one is going to be a Nissan GTR. So if I uh, run through our debugger, one second here. Debugger is going to give us a hard time. So let's do this. If we run this program, it doesn't really do anything. If I want to look at our car, so it's just noted to print uh, car1. So here we run car1, car2, and when we ask it to represent itself, it gives us this crazy answer of a car at 15 db 9742. And then the, the other car is at a different spot in memory, but it's not really useful information. So what's happening here is it's automatically calling the method toString. So it takes this car and tries to create a toString method. And because we don't have one defined for our cars, it just basically tells us the memory location where the car is at. So let's create a toString method. So public string, right, toString. Okay, 
So now we can say return and we're going to make, put in a little space, model So now, what it'll do is whenever we try to represent a car, it's going to return the make model in year. So let's let's rerun our, our testing class now. So when we run it this time, now it says car 1's a Volvo S60 2014 and car 2 is a Nissan GTR. So the idea here now is that we have the ability to create cars, we have the ability to represent the cars. So we can add some other things um, to our uh, to our class here. So maybe we want to add the idea of um, the idea of speed to our car. So let's go up here uh, and let's put in the idea of current speed. So when we construct our car now, we need to set that. So current speed will always be zero. Whenever we create a new car, our current speed is going to be zero. But now we can create a method, so public. We don't need to return anything that will simulate making the car go faster. So let's call this this method Okay, so there'll be no return for this. So we're just gonna say public void. Uh, push gas. So every time we push the car, gas, the car will go up by uh, 10 kilometers per hour. So in this case, we can say current speed, and we'll add 10 to whatever the current speed is. So if we go back to our car testing class. So now I can say, since car2 is going to be the faster of these two cars, I can say car2 dot. And you can see here, here's the methods that we've already created. One of them says push gas, and one of them is two string. So if I click on push gas, it actually shows me the comments that we put in our code. So let's push the gas a couple times. And we'll add one more more method here. This method. So since our uh, we're going to return an integer type, so I'm going to say public int get speed. We're just going to return current speed. So now when we go back to our car testing class, I can actually say system.out Here we'll pass in our speed, right? Get speed. So we'll do it before we push the gas and after. So if we do that, we can see we have our two cars. Current speed of car two is zero, and then after it says the speed of car two is twenty. So let's do a nice little line return at the beginning of these to make it a little cleaner. Okay, so now we can see after we push the gas that the car is now going quicker. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can create an object. And the idea is that we're going to create lots and lots of methods that will simulate what's happening in the real world for our car. Thanks, and we'll see you in class.